Okay, today we're going to do both variance which is represented as s squared and standard deviation which is represented as s and um, so that standard deviation is just the root of variance and we're going to find these using both the deviation score formula which uses the deviation scores and the raw score formula which uses X regular raw scores. Okay, let's start out with some data and uh, here's our raw scores and so we'll set up a column of those and so we got 15, 14, 12, 10, 10, 7, 6, and 6. Now we can start by figuring out the sum of the raw scores. And so if we add these up, 15, 14, 12, 10, 10, um, we get 80. So the sum of the raw scores is equal to 80. Now we need the sum of the raw scores because we need to be able to find our mean. Our mean is equal to the sum of the raw scores over n, and so it's equal to 80 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 80 over 8 is going to be equal to 10. Okay, so we set up another column here of our deviation scores. What a deviation score is, is each score, each raw score, minus the mean. So 15 minus 10 is equal to 5. 14 minus 10 is equal to 4. 2, 0, 0, minus 3, minus 4, whoops, and minus 4. So if we would look at the sum of the deviation scores, uh, 5 and 4 is 9, plus 2 is 11, and then this sums to negative 11. So the deviation scores always sum to 0. So what we have to do instead is we have to have another column over here where we have the deviation scores squared. So 5 squared is 25, 4 squared 16, 2 squared 4, 0, 0, 9, 16, and 16. So if we have the sum of the deviation scores squared, we get 86. And then we have one more column over here, which is our raw scores squared. Actually, let me make a better looking raw score here. Wow, oh boy. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Let's make a better looking raw score. So that's the raw score squared. So we're going to take, take each of our raw scores and we're going to square them. So 15 squares to 225, um, 14 squares to 196, 144, 100, 100, 49, 36, and 36. So, if we move this down over here, the sum of our raw scores squared is equal to 886. Okay, now it's really just plugging numbers into formulas. So let's start with our deviation score formula. Uh, the deviation score formula for variance is equal to the sum of the deviation scores squared over n minus 1. And so that's pretty straightforward. The sum of the deviation score squared is 86. So we get 86, it's not a very good 8, over n minus 1. n is equal to 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 86 over 7. And from that we get 
12.29. The standard deviation is just the root of that, so we just take 12.29, get the square root of that, and that gives us 3.51. Okay, let's try it with the raw score formula, and we'll move this back up over here. Or not. <laughs> I'll move it back. Oh boy. Thank you. Here we go. Um, what we end up with here is uh, the formula is equal to um, some of the raw scores squared minus some of the raw scores squared divided by n over n minus 1. And so what we can do is we can plug in our numbers. Some of the raw scores squared right there, 886 minus some of the raw scores, 80 squared divided by n, which is equal to 8, over n minus 1, which is equal to 7. Bring it on down. 886 minus um, 80 squared is going to be um, 6400 divided by 8 is equal to 800 over 7, which is equal to 886 minus 800 is equal to 86 over 7 which is equal to 12.29, which is the exact same thing that we got here. It's math and magic. You get the same score answer, whether you use the deviation score formula or the raw score formula. And then, very simply, to do our variance, or standard deviation, excuse me, we did our variance here, it's just going to be, again, the root of that, so it's going to be 12.29 square root is equal to 3.51. And so that's how you do both variance and standard deviation.